Well, we're putting the finishing touches on this our sixth house that we built up here in the Red Bird District. Uh, we partner with two other churches, uh, one in Murfreesboro, First United Methodist, and uh, First United Methodist in Cookville. And the three of us partner uh, to fund and build these houses. I said this is the, the sixth one. Um, you know, even though we may not be holding church service here, or we may not have any any formal meetings, we figure our presence and what we have on our trucks is, is part of our way of witnessing, just to see us up there and see what we're trying to do to help people out. Well, first of all, I, I have a, a, a very, I'm very passionate about woodworking and about construction and about helping people. And I think this gives me a real opportunity to be able to come here and participate not only in an activity that I like in the construction field, but to know and feel good about what the, the mission is accomplishing and what it means to the people here. We have always uh, had families that are so, so grateful for what we've been able to do and the way it's changed their lives. And, and we've seen a lot of them. This is our sixth house, I said. We've done this over seven years. We didn't build one last year. And it's been a very gratifying experience to me to be able to know what you've done for these people here and, and to try to help them uh, with, with, with a real leg up and, and try to get them some advantage uh, over some of the conditions. Jesus said, listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. Dear friends, we have gathered together to seek God's blessing upon this home, which by the favor of God and human labor has been made ready. This home is not only a dwelling, but a symbol to us of God's loving care and of our life together as the family of Christ. Let us therefore bring praise and thanksgiving for goodness and mercy and for our communion, offering ourselves as God's servants and as loving sisters and brothers to one another. Almighty and everlasting God, grant to this home the grace of your presence that you may be known to inhabit this dwelling and defend this household. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Taken from Joshua 24, 15d, that is for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. On behalf of our senior minister, Reverend Tommy Ward, Sean Gilliland, the chairperson of our administrative council, and all the members of St. Mark's United Methodist Church in Murfreesboro, I want to welcome you all to this dedication and consecration of our sixth Redbird home. Welcome to all of you, those of you that have come to be with us here today, and also those that will be viewing us electronically. Welcome. And I want to ask you all here to join me in welcoming this precious family, Charles, Erica, and Liam Hubbard. God bless you all. Oh. Paul Gibbons at St. Bart's is our uh, disaster coordinator, our volunteer coordinator, our Redbird coordinator. Yeah and other things that I could say about it. So Paul, I'm going to ask you to step over here for just a minute and uh, talk with me, and I'm going to interview you and ask you. I mentioned St. Mark's, but there are other churches that are included. And would you just name those and say a word about who all is involved in making this possible? First United Methodist in, uh, in Murfreesboro, First United Methodist in, in Cookville, 
and of course St. Mark's. Uh, where's where's William? William? Williams Church is involved as well, and that's in Pulaski, Tennessee. Uh, we have too many to, to start naming names, and besides that, I'm too old and I can't remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people have worked on this house, a lot of people, and a lot of people contributed to it. And that's, that's as, as, as important as that and maintenance, because you've got to have the money to do it. So we're, we're grateful for all this. Well, thank you. And I know, as you've suggested, there's a great cadre of volunteers that made this possible. And thanks to all of you for doing such a great job. And before I close my comments, I want us to be very uh, intentional in thanking uh, the Redbird folks and some of you who are here and staff. Let's join together and show our appreciation for them as well. This family, and I know Paul will say another word in just a minute, but we're so happy for you. We are so thankful for you. And for the little one there, Liam, we're so grateful for you. And thank you for being here today as we consecrate your new home. God bless you. And in a few years, we'd like to come back and check on you and see how you have grown. And uh, maybe there'll be others added to family, okay? <laughs> right. God bless you. So congratulations to the team. Congratulations to the family, to all the volunteers, and most of all, we give praise and express our gratitude to the eternal God. This is why this work takes place. We have a lot of people with a lot of skills. We have a lot of people with a lot of money. We have a lot of people with a lot of know-how. But we want to share our witness today and say that we believe all of this is possible because of the one who created us, who gave us Jesus Christ to save us and empower us to do his will. And with that said, then, let me just, <clears throat> in behalf of all who have worked on this, say, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we consecrate this home, committing to God's love and care all who dwell therein. And let the congregation join me and let us all say, Amen. 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 We'd like to give you this welcome basket. It's a few towels and and blankets and things just to get you started but most importantly we've got a bible that with your name inscribed charles and, and erica hubbard and we've got liam a bible to get you started and we made liam some pictures so that he will always remember all of the people that worked on the house so that he can look and and see paul and all of the guys that worked on the house and he can remember the guys and the ladies that, that made the house possible for him. And I couldn't get everybody, but I tried to get as many people as possible. The last thing we'd like to do is, um, that I'd like to do, is to show Liam his new room. And I'd like to tell you that we have a lady at church. Her name is Cindy Stone Allen. She lost her parents, and in memory of her parents, and also with funds provided by Jerry and Joanna Beasley, we, who provided um, the bedding, the bed for you, the mattress for you, um, we have decorated Liam's room. So are you ready to see your room, buddy? Are you ready to see your room? Come on. 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 What do you think? Are there bunches of bunches of fish? <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you think? What do you think? I hope you like it. Of course, yes. It's beautiful. And we hope that he likes it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we were running short of time, so your curtains are in the closet. <laughs> I'm sorry, and there's a board or two that needs to be put in the bed before he sleeps in. <laughs> what do you think, Leah? What do you think, Marty? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? I think he likes it. I think he loves it. He'll have 
Yeah, I'll just stay here a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I hope so. This house is not free. You're going to have to pay for it. No. <laughs> Here's the way you pay for it. In, in weeks and months and years to come, people are going to ask you about this house. Don't say St. Mark's built this house. Don't say First Church in Murfreesboro built this house. Don't say First Church in, in uh, Hookville built this house. And for goodness sakes, don't say Paul Gibbons built this house. God built this house. And that's the way it might for you to respond. Amen. And if you all respond that way every time, you pay for the house. Amen. Let's pray. God, on our first trip over here, we said that we can't get up that hill. And you said, yes, you can. And we said, we don't have enough help to build that house this time. And you said, yes, you do. And then we said, well, we're going to run out of money. And you said, you said, no, you won't. And because of you, God, this house stands completed in your name. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. Amen. This is the sixth house that we built. Uh, there's been as many as seven or eight different churches over the last seven years that have been involved in this. It's, uh, from my standpoint, it's the most wonderful thing I've, I've ever been involved in. And I, I think it, uh, it helps people to get up off the ground. It gives them a start. It's, uh, it's life changing. We can feed them. We can do a lot of things for people. Uh, but something like this is life changing. And several of the folks that's received these houses, it has changed their lives for the better. And so that's my hope and prayer for the future is that we can continue to build one every year. Uh, if we get the money and we forget the help, we're going to do it. It's a labor of love, so we don't get tired. Well, I'm uh, originally from Middlesbrough, Kentucky, and um, several years ago I uh, met Charles here and I ended up moving to Leslie County where we currently live right now. And um, we. Uh, are just so excited and so thankful for, um, I don't want to cry, but uh, just so thankful for being able to get this home and just feeling comfortable and we're just, it's, it's that meaning of like family and home to us and getting to be able to walk into, uh, you know, a good warm home.